Rocky. John made this whole big deal about fighting the Army of the Dead, and he didn't help in defeating the Army of the Dead. He didn't even kill the Ice Drag. He didn't do shit this episode. To this day! To this day! I hit him clean more times. I beat him. Use your common sense. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this this MAGA country. What up, Bushido Spirit, back with another video here. Here to talk about Game of Thrones. Now, I don't normally talk about Game of Thrones. I don't really have a review channel, but it, here and there, I will I will pop in and uh, say say some things. This episode in particular, it was pretty underwhelming. Uh, one is that, you know, the fight scenes weren't as good as they were in other battles. Like, I, I know that they can do a good job with battles. I've seen the Battle of the Bastards and many other battles that they've shown, and they all were better than this one. This battle was supposed to be the main one this was this was the end game of game of thrones this shit should have been epic but you could barely see what the fuck was going on in this battle and, and it seemed like there was a budget issue right because we didn't get no wide shot of the white walker army it was just complete darkness I, we just saw the dothraki staring into a void there was nothing we could see we couldn't see anything on the other side and it didn't make sense it did it just really did it didn't make sense to me that the dothraki would just run into an endless void without seeing anything and that they would they would use the catapults and throw flaming rocks into that void and you couldn't see nothing you couldn't see nothing and then what pissed me off is that all the Dothraki were pretty much killed off screen we didn't really see them die we saw them go into go into the void and there was one scene where they sh they flashed some white walkers like a big ass white walker tidal wave and then we just see the, the horses start to come back that did not make any sense to me I did not like that it was super dark on the battlefield lots of cuts didn't really fuck with that and we didn't get any epic one-on-one -on -one fights between um the main characters and, and like the the white walker generals which i felt like that should have been there that should have been there like i felt like they should have had one of those epic scenes but it, they didn't they did also they introduced some new shit into this uh like that 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 mist that that storm <laughs> that cold storm ice wind which made it very hard for people to see and that was like a plot device to make it make sense that the dragons weren't there as much as they should have been i didn't like that there were a lot of times in the battle where just danny and john being there with the dragons would have would have helped would have made things easier but nah the, you know, the, the white walkers started to scale the wall and get into the castle also there were certain parts in the battle where it was pretty quiet which didn't make sense to me because this is an epic battle you got metal clinking people screaming when they die stuff falling it <laughs> Like the castle was literally crumbling down, but yet there was a scene where Arya was playing Metal Gear Solid. It was complete silence. It was hard to tell where each person was on the battlefield. Cause there was one scene where um Danny was outside the castle and she fell off her dragon and then Jorah randomly shows up. Which could which didn't make sense because Jorah was supposed to be still inside the castle fighting off the horde of White Walkers, but somehow he ended up on the outside of the castle where Danny was. And also one thing on the other thing that really pissed me off was the fact that sam and the hound were cowards that did not make sense they are two of a handful of people that have seen white walkers but yet they were more scared of white walkers than people who have just seen those things for the first time that didn't make any sense to me where was the development at did not make sense to me that they were still that scared and sam kind of pissed me off because he got his friend killed and he was just a coward he got saved like many times and i felt like he should have died he he really deserved to die this episode he was he was useless he was there was one point in the episode where he was found crying on a pile of white walkers and the person that i'm pissed off the most at is is john snow john snow did not do any fucking thing this episode and he was the main person talking about how we got to defeat the army of the dead but yet he didn't do anything epic and there were moments where they could have made an epic fight between him and the night king but they decided to do some stupid shit like that moment where the White King, I mean, not the White King, <laughs> the Night King raised the Army of the Dead. All the people that died during the battle, he raised them up again. That, that was so unnecessary. That was so unnecessary. Instead, they, they could have easily had made it so that John fought him right there. That would have been a better idea than what they did. So he raises the Army of the Dead. And the army of the dead gets in the way of him, John, fighting the Night King. I thought that was stupid as hell. Also, another thing that I found stupid was that John was surrounded by the army of the dead after trying to get trying to fight the Night King. The Night King sort of walks away 
John is left to fight all these White Walkers. Danny comes out of nowhere and uh, burns all the White Walkers up to allow John to run uh, and try to fight the Night King. But then she lands her dragon, which made no sense. Like she landed her dragon and the White Walkers got on the dragon and was fucking the dragon up. And and it gets even it gets even dumber here because um, you would think that you know after the dragon got stabbed a couple times that motherfucker would try to fly, but he doesn't fly until he throws Danny off his back and then he decides to fly. In the air and the only reason that happened was to set up the scene where um jorah and danny were back to back like on some lethal weapon shit and they were fighting off white walkers together and that was that was their way of giving him the perfect end which i appreciated you know he deserved that type of ending i appreciate that but the way they set it up i didn't really fuck with it all didn't really fuck with that at all but yeah my biggest gripe yeah i'm willing to let things slide like Arya sneaking up on the Night King I'm willing to let that slide you know I'm willing to let that slide because I, I mean how else were they was how else were they were supposed to kill him you know they made it so that John was a complete complete waste of, of skin he was completely useless he was pinned down by a fucking ice dragon who I thought was dead but apparently not that motherfucker was still alive okay but he was completely pinned down by the ice dragon completely useless so the only <laughs> the only way for them to survive was for her to pop out of nowhere and kill the night king that's the only thing that that made any sense because i don't even know what to say man i i don't even know what to say i don't know but a lot, a lot of people talking about how she sneaked past everybody and was able to snap the night king i mean fuck it john made this whole big deal about fighting the army of the dead and he didn't help in defeating the army of the dead he didn't even kill the ice drag he didn't do shit this episode he was completely useless he, he felt like sam to me him sam and hound didn't do shit this episode didn't do shit and they're supposed to be key players in this whole thing and I, one the other thing that didn't make sense either theon had a group of his people surround him and they were shooting arrows at the white walkers that were trying to uh converge on brand right but the arrows ran out and what i find odd as hell is that nobody had swords nobody there had swords so once the arrows ran out there were there weren't swords for them to fight the white walkers off with it it didn't make sense that didn't make sense at all anyway man hopefully the next uh episodes uh the next big epic uh fight scenes are better like hopefully they save that money the money that they didn't put it in this episode they put it in the, to the episode for the final battle the battle for the crown right and hopefully it's 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 day it's daylight it's sunlight outside i don't want to see no fucking dark murky battle i don't want to see that shit uh but anyway i'm your boy bushido spirit uh peace the fuck out